Evernote is a great tool to collect information, to consolidate information in one place. But more important than that, it's a tool that you can use to be productive in your life. And productive in your life means that if you have five minutes sitting around waiting on somebody, for example, maybe you're in a doctor's office or waiting for a train, can you get work done, things that you need to get done to move your goals forward, whatever those goals may be? And I would suggest to you that Evernote, and I'm going to show you a few tricks here, Evernote can help you with that. And today we're going to focus on studies, studies uh, being a student. So uh, stay tuned and let's jump right to it. So Evernote has introduced something new. We've always had... Uh, notebooks and we've been able to group them or what Evernote calls as stacks. Um, stacks are a little cumbersome. Uh, you kind of forget how to add things to them sometimes and they're just not as user-friendly, I think, as Evernote had intended them to be. But they've come out with these new things called spaces. Spaces are very similar to stacks wherein you can place all of your information. So we'll look, for example, here at um, Hunter's schooling. And you can see here, he's got his, his topics here that he's working through at school and he's created notebooks. So I'm going to walk you through kind of how to do this. And then we're going to walk through kind of a concept on research papers and how you develop and stay organized with your research papers. Again, with this whole concept that mobility is everything. You want to be able to go to any computer that has the internet and be able to quickly get to work. So let's jump into the first thing, which is how do we create this space? To create a space, you just simply click right here where it says spaces. You just click here on the plus sign and you say, create whatever the space is. In this case, we created Hunter School. Now, once it's created, we select there, and then we're gonna need to import existing notebooks. And I left one off of here, but we're gonna import notebooks in here. We could create a new notebook, easy. Once we create the new notebook, for example, we just put here sample and create, and it automatically appears within our space now is it still within our notebooks well yeah if you go to sit here if you go to notebooks and you type in sample you're going to see it it's right there and if we take that out we can delete it from here delete the notebook it's going to disappear from the space so let's go ahead and do that we're going to hit delete now if we go back to hunter school space Notice the sample is gone. We can do the same thing by creating sample here and then doing a right click and saying delete notebook or clicking on these three little guys and saying delete notebook. Okay, so easy, easy way to kind of get rid of notebooks and add new notebooks. But in this case, we've created this new space and we want to import content into the space. This means that we want to import either from another space or from notebooks. Now, notice here that um, it's not going to remove it from your notebook list, but it can only be in one space at a time. OK, so a lot of times you're just doing this. You're saying, OK, I have existing notebooks that I want to put into my space, not currently in a space. OK. They try to make it as simple as possible. I've selected one. I could select as many as I want. I've selected one and I just say move. All of a sudden that moves right here, 289R. But remember, if I go back to here and I type in 289R, it's still there and it's still underneath this group here or what they call a stack. So again, I just wanted to Make sure that you realize that this is not changing anything about the way you organize your information as it exists today. It's just adding a feature to it that I think you're going to find very helpful in your schooling. So here, 
now I can go in at any time. I can create this space as a favorite as well. I always forget where. Um, oh, there it is right there. It's um, add to shortcuts. So I have it removed from shortcuts. So if I go into shortcuts here, notice here Hunter School is there. Once I plug it now, it goes directly to all of Hunter's uh, notebooks. Now, what I'd like to see in the future with these spaces is for task management for all of the tasks associated with this space to show up here as well. That would be very cool, Evernote, if you could do that. All right. Anyways, so that's really on creating spaces and how to use spaces. I'm going to create a second video here. Um, so go ahead and view it where we're going to talk about doing research within Evernote, how to do a research paper within Evernote while using AI as well to assist in that process. So tune in for the other uh, video. We're going to stop this one now because it's around five minutes and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.